Hey guys, this is Kev again from Kripke the Chameleon and Friends, and today you're going to meet Spock and his buddies in their latest setup. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, guys. First, I'd like to start off by apologizing for not uploading a video for some time. Many of you know I've been battling with some health issues for over a year now, so it comes and goes, as well as we recently learned that we have to move. So it couldn't have happened in the worst time, especially during a crisis. But So what I ended up doing was rehoming most of my fish. Many of you may remember from earlier videos I had a lot of discus, as well as angels. So I rehomed as well as sold some of them, and I also tried to rehome many of my goldfish as well. But I do have some more remaining, and as you can see, this is my 90 gallon tank, which originally housed my discus, so I decided to give Spock yet another upgrade, and I moved him into his very own oasis. I also have my puffers, Mork and Mindy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I have a killifish, a little bumblebee goby. I had them in those other tanks before, and here is Spock, the mud skipper. Right now he's a little shy. Whenever you make any major changes, Spock just gets a little weird and he'll do that just for a few weeks. But as you can see, Mork and Mindy are doing well. They're happy as ever. I have a killifish in there. I also have some Dumbo mollies I'm going to put in here eventually. And we'll see how it all plays out. Let's take a close look here at Spock. Hey, buddy. I'll likely do another video explaining exactly how I set this up. In the event anyone wants to do that, if they ever get a mud skipper in the future. But this is definitely a beautiful setup here for Spock. There's lots of room. He has a little floating dock here, so he has some land behind the waterfall. As you can see, he can walk along that side. He has a shelf to walk on. He seems to prefer it with water, so whenever I feed him, he'll just dip in there. Like whenever I give him like blood worms and stuff. And so far, everyone's getting along fine. I was most concerned with Mork and Mindy because they were separated for over a year but they picked up exactly where they left off. Say hi guys. <laughs> They're a little sketchy. So I'm gonna just do a quick feeding and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So right now I'm gonna give them a little bit of blood worms with plankton in there. Hey guys. Ooh. Look at that. I know Spock is right on top of here now, wondering when he's going to get his food. By the way, I've had Spock for just about three years. I think in about one month, it will be three years since I've had him. I've meant to do a video for Spock for quite some time, and this is finally his time to show. Let's see here, Spocky. Just give you a little piece. Hey, buddy. Ah, that separated a little bit. See if I get another piece. Hey, Spocky. Sorry, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so these guys are going to clean all of this up. <laughs> hey, why are you puffing up your stomach like that? So while Spock is having his breakfast, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown in the tank. Right here I have a filter. It used to belong in Spock's other aquarium. So I put a little extender. As you can see, a pole is extending it because it's quite long. I used to have an FX5, but I had to put one of these filters in because the FX5 is creating too much pressure since the water was much lower and it will cause it to leak. So I had to put a regular one of these 100 gallon filters. I put in here 
and it's suspended as well. So I had to hang it, suspend it. The reason why you see that little bag there is to protect it from condensation. That's where the motor is located in the filter. Right here we also have another filter for circulation and we have another corner filter here as well. So there's lots of air bubbles, lots of circulation. Everyone is doing well. I put some rocks, I created the platform for him. There's rocks so we can walk along the sides. There's a lot of underground caves because he loves caves as well as the puffers. So there's lots of room to hide in. Caves here, between here. As you can see, this little guy is hiding under here now. There's a heater, more places to hide. And everyone's doing well. And Spock also have this little platform, which is a turtle dock. It's quite big. And he utilizes the entire tank. So everyone is doing fine, healthy, and doing well. So I just hope this little project works out for me, even though I'm planning on moving soon. And we'll just see how this all plays out, God willing. I also feed my puffers Mork and Mindy snails. Sometimes I even give them clam in a half shell from Hakari. But the only problem is that it makes such a mess. So I much prefer to give them snails, which helps shave their beaks down. So let me put a couple in there. Yeah. You go for it. Come on, Mindy, you gotta see it. They love their snails. It's very important that you give your puffers snails because they grow their beaks and it becomes a problem for them later on in life, so you must always give it to them to help shave those beaks down to keep them nice and healthy. I'm hoping to never have to perform a surgery because even though I've been giving them shells multiple times a week, I can see the beaks coming out a bit. But we'll see how this all turns out. <laughs> Look at you with your big tummy. Who got you aggravated to make your stomach come out like that, huh? <laughs> I'm just so happy to see these guys still getting along after such a long time. So now that these guys are finished eating, just wanted to cover the lights. I have two different sets of LED lights on top, and I also have a long strip light along the bottom as well. So if I take that long strip light off, you can see it's a little darker in here now. Now with the LED lights, I can also change them to blue. I have two of them. That's what it looks like with just one of them on, so it's blue on one side, bright on the other. Or I can change them both blue at night. gives a nice little shimmering effect in the water as well. Let's turn it back on. And I also have some plastic in the back to make sure I can conceal the humidity within the aquarium because whenever you have a mud skipper you got to make sure the humidity is pretty high so you got to conceal the top to make sure it's sealed off. And the plastic also stops any condensation from blowing around in the apartment as well. So today's date, it's April the 2nd. And even though I'm having a really tough time getting rid of my babies, my discus and stuff, I have them for so many years, and my angels, I figured I'd just do this nice little oasis. A nice oasis from my buddy Spock since it's well overdue I figure this will also bring a smile to everyone's face because we're going through a crisis with this coronavirus pandemic and I have some really a really tough road ahead so I just want to wish everyone to stay safe take care of your families and um, just look out for one another. 
this is Kev again from Crypto the Chameleon and Friends. And as always, one love and God bless. Take care, guys. Come on, Spock. You can come up, buddy. <laughs>